All right, um, where do I start with this? Hey guys. So, recently we went on a little shopping trip to Barnes & Nobles. And if you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna leave a link to it down below. There were so many amazing sets that I just, I kind of, I wish I could have gotten a lot more than I did. But you know what, that's okay. There's always next time. But anyways, of the puzzles that I picked up that day in, in Barnes and Nobles, there's, there's one of them that is like, it's been constantly staring at me from the shelf. And I feel like I, I just gotta get into it. I just gotta do it. So the puzzle that I am talking about is called The World of Dracula. The artwork is by Adam Simpson. It is 1000 pieces and it's 19 inches by 27 inches when it's completed. And the brand for this one is Lawrence King. Now Lawrence King is a brand that I've never heard of before. I've never obviously tried it before. So, you know, that was one of the main reasons why I, I picked up this set. And, you know, there were a number of these from, you know, different novels and whatnot. And of all of them, this one spoke to me the most because Dracula just so happens to be one of my most favorite novels. And I've always found the idea of vampires very interesting and mysterious. But anyways, I couldn't help but be captivated by this image. This is fantastic artwork. And the back of the box does actually explain pretty much what you're getting yourself into with this. The image is packed with characters from the story and the illustration includes all the key scenes from the novel in incredible detail. And what's also really interesting about the World Of collection from the Lawrence King brand is that they all come with an illustrated poster and explanatory text by leading, well, for this particular set, leading Dracula expert, Roger Luckhurst, detailing who's who in the Count's grisly world. This sounds way too exciting. And aside from the fact that you have all, you know, those little tidbits in there too, I mean, just looking at this image is, you know, it's just mind blowing to me. Because for one, I think this castle looks absolutely amazing. It looks dark, it's mysterious. Would I necessarily want to be in this image? Like, do I see myself in here? No, I don't really think I want to. Because, I mean, let's be honest here, we have quite a number of questionable, worrisome situations going on here. Because obviously, if you know the story of Dracula, you know, there's a number of gruesome things going on throughout the entire novel. So, you know, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really want to see myself in any of those situations or partake in any of it. But anyways, in terms of challenge level with this particular image, I don't know. Looking at it this very moment, it almost doesn't seem like it's going to be extremely challenging for me. And I know I always say that and most of the times, you know, that's not always the case. I always, I always end up like losing my mind at some point. But I mean, I don't know. I, I kind of feel good about this. I almost feel like it's going to feel like I'm actually reading the book again. But you know, probably this might be more fun than that. So you know what, guys? I can't wait to get into this. So let's open this up and let's get a move on with it. All right, let's get this opened. Now, quick note, I just wanna mention this packaging is fantastic. This box is nice and sturdy. The print is amazing and I don't know, I just love it. This is, this is fancy stuff here. But one thing that I don't understand is why some brands do not tape the lid to the box itself. There's no tape on this, so you know, there's, to me, that's just asking for trouble sometimes in terms of, you know, people doing stupid things to the box, like taking stuff out. But anyways, let's move on. It comes in like a paper bag, which is interesting. Let's look at this poster real quick. All right, I had to bring up the camera a little bit because this poster is huge. Wow. And the back of it has all the informational text. This is a quite a big read here. But look, we have everything pinpointed in the puzzle image with numbers as you can see here and it basically gives you the reference as to what's going on in that particular scene this is awesome i love this all right but i want to see right now what are these pieces like that paper makes a lot of noise 
this is this is fancy stuff this is quality and it better be for the price i paid but anyways let's see what this print looks like look at this guys this is a very clear print you could see the details very well even with these darker pieces here you can really see that detail in there look at that even that dark piece you can see what's going on there as well I'm trying to get a variety of pieces with different details here look at the hair here look at that print that's great and you know what from what I'm seeing so far, this glare is not intense. It's, it's really not that bad. I'm I'm facing this right now towards the window, which is completely open. And that's I could still see what's going on there, which is great. It, the box doesn't say if there's any kind of finish to it, but I mean, I'm liking this so far. Look again, look how sharp that image is there. That's a great print. I am really, really looking forward to piecing this together. Oh, oh, that's not good. And these pieces are quite thick. Look at that thickness. That's great. Oh, I kind of feel like just by judging from that thickness, I feel like these are going to piece together really nicely and, you know, hopefully hold well together. These are strong. The tabs are not weak at all. This is great stuff, guys. You know what? I'm, I'm just going to stop with this now because I seriously want to get started you know get to work on this i think the sorting is not going to be too difficult everything looks pretty clear and straightforward even for the dark areas i mean i know i tend to struggle with dark areas anyway so hopefully i won't too much this time but we shall see right so you know what i'm gonna stop this unboxing now let's get started on this because i think this is going to be awesome all right let's move on I am quite shocked. That was the most fun I've had sorting in a very long time. I mean, I say that like I've ever had fun sorting, but this was different. Now I'm using the trays from the super large puzzle board that was sent to me. But anyways, the first tray here are of course the edge pieces. Over here we have like kind of swirly things going on. We've got some sparklies going on here and some more sparklies there. I don't know, I, I don't really know how to describe that. But anyways, then this tray over here, I have a few different piles going on. So here we have all the grays and the black and there are some details in them. Over here we have the water. In the center, I kind of put aside the pieces for the moon. Over here, I don't know, this color stood out to me, but we do have some waves, so I, I figured I'd put that here. And there's also some of this like beigey color as well. I don't know, I kind of felt like that needed to be put to the side. Over here, we have the sky. And then over here, these are more sky pieces, but this has um, details from the castle. And that's a small pile of just some green stuff that I saw. Over here, we have pieces for the castle itself. And probably there's some other pieces from other buildings in the image, kind of like those in the background and the rooms and you know, the brickwork and all that good stuff. Then over here, this is the characters. And I also put on the side over here details such as like all the crosses. I kind of put them in one little pile. Um, I have the carriages and some other things like the bed here and those those kind of things. But yeah, I mean, I know this looks like a huge mess and it probably doesn't really look like I did anything here. But as I said, I thought this was a lot of fun. But yeah, you know, I just kind of slowly took it all in and already started to really enjoy this experience so far. So you know what, guys, let's move on to the really fun stuff. And that's the piecing together kind of stuff. Once I got the edges done, which seemed pretty simple, I moved on to the smallest tray, which had the sparklies and the swirly stuff, which I realized were actually the tree branches. <laughs> but anyways, thinking back now, and this goes for any puzzle, but completing the initial sort can almost feel like a big weight lifting off you. It can feel like such a daunting task at times because all you see is that big pile just sat in front of you. But then again, figuring out what to get started on after the sort, I mean, heck, even after getting the frame complete, can sometimes feel pretty overwhelming. And I love it when I finally get into my groove and start seeing all those little sections coming together. And all this really makes me think about how puzzles really are something special. 
not only do they challenge your mind in terms of, you know, like the solving part of it, but I feel like they play with your emotions as well. And I'm not sure if I'm making sense, but do you get what I'm trying to say? You can start out excited or nervous, then you're overwhelmed, then relieved and ready, then confused, happy, frustrated, energized, the list goes on really. All to finally get to that ever so wonderful sense of accomplishment. And once you get to that point, you can take a moment to reflect and say to yourself, my goodness, what a journey. All right. Well, I haven't gotten very, very far into this puzzle, but so far I have to say I am absolutely loving it. And it's not so much because of the image. The image, of course, you know, I'm in love with it, but I mean, the quality of this, the way this feels, this is, this is amazing. And one of the things that's kind of driving me over the edge, but you know, in a good way, is look at this hold. This is fantastic. You know, you know this stuff drives me crazy. And quite honestly, I'm not feeling like this image is difficult. It's honestly pretty straightforward, you know? I think I did pretty well with the sorting, which is like kind of one of the things that really help you. But as I mentioned in the review for this board, these trays are fantastic. The size is great. I have all my pieces laid out in a single layer so i you know i guess that's kind of helping me get through this in a nice timely matter not that i'm rushing or anything but you know it's nice to like get some progress going along because i mean really i mean i'm just having too much fun and look at these colors this is just this is absolutely fantastic you know what i'm gonna stop filming right now i'm just gonna keep puzzling here because i just i'm having too much fun and this is amazing all right let's continue now a number of you brought something to my attention when you saw that I picked this puzzle in my shopping video. And you all said the same things, which was that there are actually two versions of Lawrence King puzzles. That the awesome quality version is produced in the Netherlands and the other is produced in China, which is known as not really good at all. So when I read these comments, I quickly grabbed my box to see what it said and thankfully it was from the Netherlands because that would have sucked if I paid the price I did for a sad version. So yeah, if you get your hands on a Lawrence King puzzle, make sure to check the box and see where it was produced. I paid like $22, this was regular price for this one, so if you find one less than that, then I'd probably be a bit suspicious. It might be a sign that you're getting a not so good one. But I don't know, I almost want to find a made in China one and see how bad it actually is. That might be an interesting video. We shall see. All right, I'm in a serious groove right now with this puzzle. I'm, I'm having so much fun with this. But I'm getting to a point now where it's getting a little challenging, only, very, only ever so slight. So we're working on the castle right now. So, you know, I figured, you know what, I'll take the tray that has all the castle pieces and kind of resort it into little piles here. So here I have windows. This I believe is for like the roofing area. These are kind of just like the plain stone pieces. I have a couple here that have red for the curtains. These have little bits of details in them like books and arms and whatnot. We got a column building here and some other dark pieces from the castle. We have stairs and then this one has candlelight. So yeah, I feel like this is going to help me get through this castle fairly quickly. So you know what? Let's see if it works. And again, those areas were only a little more challenging. And considering how there is a lot going on in this image, I was surprised it wasn't a lot harder. Really, it was nothing that a little resort here and there couldn't fix. But once that was all said and done, I was then left with the sky, which has never been one of my strengths. And for the most part, it tends to be the last thing I work on when I puzzle. Unless for some strange reason, there's not much of it in my image, but usually I do landscape, so there's always quite a big sky in the picture. But anyways, let me know down below. Are any of you out there a fan of putting the sky together? All right, we're down to the wire now. Castle was not bad at all. Now all we have left is the, the sky, which I think will probably end up being the most challenging part of the puzzle, but I'm on my last train now, so this is, this is everything, is it? Yeah, that's all. So I'm not really sure how I'm gonna go about um, if I'm gonna sort these pieces by shape, I'll probably do that. I already have like 
the pieces with bits of bats already set aside so that's a little head start there but you know what let's just see what we can do with this and let's finish it all right let's go Ugh, skies are always tricky for me i mean i guess it is really for most people but anyways this was certainly an experience that i didn't want to end I almost wish it was a bigger piece count, or the image could magically expand or something with more scenes from the book in my dreams, right? This puzzle took me about seven and a half hours to complete, and even though I wanted it to last forever, in the end I was happy to finally set that last piece in, sit back, and take in a new form of one of my favorite novels. This was a great experience, and it's bloody beautiful. All right, um, where do I start with this? Now, I didn't really know what to expect with this brand, but quite honestly, from start to finish, I was immensely surprised. And I'm not quite sure really what did it more. It was I don't know if it was the quality, the image, just the whole concept of this kind of puzzle, or if it was just all of that put together. It, that's probably, I mean, yeah, that probably was what made this quite an amazing experience. Now, in regards to the quality, the, it's fantastic. This has a great print. The outlines are clear, it's sharp, it has great colors. I mean, it, even for the dark areas, it was really easy to see all the details. And I absolutely loved the fact that I didn't have any issues with glare. To me, this seemed more like a matte finish, which of course in turn helps you to see the details more clearly. And in terms of the piece size, it was a great piece size. And I love the variety of piece shapes. I think there were about five or six different piece shapes in different kind of forms or vari varieties. I absolutely love the fit of these pieces. They just like glided right into each other. And you know this what drive me, drove me crazy, but the hold. That hold was one of the best holds I've ever experienced in a puzzle brand. You could pick up small sections, bigger sections, two pieces, 10 pieces together. And you know that kind of stuff drives me insane. I, I just love when my puzzles do that. I love being able to like move sections around to you know pick them up and put them where I need them. It's just, it, it just added on to the whole experience. And because that hold was so great, I was already expecting, you know, there was gonna be some good stuff happening at the pickup test. And I wasn't wrong, it held up beautifully. And not only that, it did pass the storage test as well with very minimal casualties along the way. I was even able to like hold it up and kind of bend it and fold it over and it, it held on beautifully. But quite honestly, I don't think I'm gonna leave this in sections. I think I'm just gonna take this all apart and just, you know, this is definitely one that I wanna work on again. So yeah, in terms of the quality, I mean, it's, it's great. And I think what also added on to the whole experience is the fact that, you know, with the concept of this puzzle brand, you have the reference image, but it also has information on what each of these scenes are depicting within the novel. I kind of saw this as a more fun version of, like, do you guys remember Cliff Notes? You know, the books that the teachers, you know, the little yellow and black books that the teachers told you not to use for your book reports, but you know, you did anyways. I know I did. But anyways, I mean, it kind of reminded me of that because you have key scenes depicted within the image and it gave you the notes on it too. It gave you the little story in a very abbreviated form. So if you're someone who hasn't read the novel, I mean, you can take one of these puzzles and, you know, kind of get a feel for it that way if you wanted to, especially if you're not really into reading novels. And I have to say, this artwork is fantastic. I really appreciate how much detail the artist put into this image and how beautifully it's put together. Now I really, I really have to get Frankenstein and, and the other ones that I saw at Barnes and Nobles. And yes, with saying that, I absolutely feel that this is worth every penny that I spent on it. You know what this reminded me of? I have to say this. This, the feel, the quality, the experience in general, it so much reminded me of a Schmidt puzzle. I'm serious. I swear, it felt like a Schmidt puzzle. You know, the fun, the whole experience, it just, 
If I had to compare it to another brand, it would be that one. So I guess what I'm saying here is Lawrence King, you know, this World of Collection is probably one of my, my top two puzzle brands. But if you have tried this brand, please let me know. Has Was your experience the same? Am I talking crazy? Did I just have a one-off here? I need to know because I think my puzzle collection is definitely gonna have more of these. And also let me know down below if there are other collections within that brand that you've tried and you think I need to try out as well. Now, if you're looking for a place to share your experiences or your puzzle hauls or whatnot with other puzzlers, I do have a community that you can join and I'm gonna leave a link to that down below so that you can check it out. But anyways, guys, I need to get a move on with my next puzzle. So I hope you are all doing well. Thank you for all your support and I will see you in the next one.